So welcome to Tiny Bytes. Today we're talking about an overview for any of the groups.io groups that you belong to. Groups.io is like a combination mailing list and bulletin board. It also includes tools like a calendar, a files area, chat, subgroups, polls, and more. Some of the church teams don't need all those functions and just want the mailing list part. Some of the church teams do a lot of programming and desperately need more tools. The One You Council is using this tool and this is your video orientation. Because the One You Council Groups IO is already in use and we don't want to disturb this 30 something chairs with practice posts, we're going to do our practice posts on our computer tutoring group, One You Tiny Bytes. But it's going to work just the same regardless on which group you're at. In this video, you're going to learn how do you accept the invitation and put your settings on what you want for your email delivery. How do you read messages and reply? How do you, I make a new topic with an attachment? How do I find the files area for my monthly packet? How do I upload a file if I have something to share? And how do I log back into Groups.io later on? The website URL you need to remember is this one, www.groups.io. And from there, you can find your groups. But let's go ahead and look at that invitation. I'm assuming you have a web browser with a working internet connection and you go to your email, you're going to see something that looks like this, invitation to join the one new tiny bytes at groups.io group. The name of the group will be in here, but the invitations usually look the same regardless of which one. You're going to have a greeting, you were invited by me to join the thing. Look on the third line that says to accept the invitation, please reply to this email or click on the link accept the invitation on the website. I'm going to suggest you click on the link and it looks like this. You're going to get to a page that has a list of what you want as your email delivery preferences. You can get them one at a time as the messages come out clumped together as a full featured digest up to 12 messages at a time, a plain digest which takes away the fonts and the colors and things, a daily summary that's delivered in the morning of everything that happened yesterday, special notices or no email. For the computer tutoring group I'm going to say no email because you don't want to get pinged with all the practice posts, you just want to look at them at the website. But for the one you counsel, choose the frequency you like best. I myself go with um, daily summary so I can see what happened yesterday and it gets delivered in the morning. So once you make your selection, choose join this group and you are now subscribed. And the name of the group for practice is the Tiny Bites group. If it were really the council, it would show the council group. You can click on home and that's what it looks like. Here we go, our computer tutoring group. It tells you how many members and a couple of uh, things about the group if you read down. What we're going to talk about is this sidebar of tools. Do you see them over here? There's a lot of tools and we're not going to cover each one. We're going to do the top three. Messages for how do you read the messages. New topic if you want to write a message. And then down here, files for the files area. So let's hit the messages first. You click on message, you'll see what's available. Let's go with uh, the exercise, favorite pizza topping so we can practice replying to a message. We click on it and open it. We see that Kat has asked, what is your favorite pizza topping? And Kat is talking to herself and she said cheese the first time. But now I've changed my mind. You can reply to either one, but I'm going to go up here to the main one and hit reply. It kind of looks like writing an email and I've changed my mind. Now I want to have ham and pineapple. I know that's very controversial for some people, but I do like ham and pineapple. Over here, you see um, different tools for formatting your message. You can make it bold. Let's make the ham bold. You can make it italics. We'll make the pineapple italics. You can make a bullet list, a numbered bullet list, insert a, in, a link if you're wanting to send me to a recipe link for making that pizza. Left, center, right, justify. Adding a picture if you want to show me a picture of that pizza. Adding an attachment. And then this one at the end shows you the advanced toolbar. If you click on it, you get more tools for formatting your message. You can change the fonts, you can change the sizes, you can change the colors. Use whatever it is you need to make your message clear. After it's ready, hit reply to the group and you'll see your message has been sent. And when you check on that thread, you'll see that it was added to the bottom. See that? Ham and pineapple. This is a different Cat Rigby under Leadership Development. Don't get confused if you see two of me. Um, anyway, 
back over here under new topic. Now let's say you're done. Look at messages. We're done. We only have two looking at the messages that are currently available, but you want to make a new message. You are the chair of a team and somebody has joined the team or left the team. You have an updated new contact list. You want to distribute it to the people. You say, hi folks, here is the new contact sheet but I haven't actually put the contact sheet. What I would need to do is click on paperclip. You see the paperclip here? We'll click on it. There's two ways to add it. You can just grab it from your desktop and drag it into this box, or you can go to browse and select it that way. I'm gonna do it that way with the browse button. I'm gonna slide down to find the contact list. Here it is, the pretend list. And we're gonna say open. You don't quite see it. You see the open button down here? We'll click on that. I'll slide this. And then it has appeared in this box. You say, yes, that's what I want to add to my message. And click on the Add button. And then you'll see that it appeared at the bottom of the message. Let's go ahead and fix this video so that it's clear. Okay, so we've added it to the bottom of the message. We're going to click Send. And now when you look at the messages, you see this new thing has appeared on the list of messages. If I click on it, you see it's got an attachment, paperclip. If I click on it, it says, hi folks, here's the new contact sheet. I can click on this thing and it'll open the contact sheet and you have a choice here to download it. If you wanted to download it to your desktop, you're not the person who sent it, but you're a member of the team, you wanna grab the updated contact sheet. So that's how you send an email with an attachment. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about was the files area. Over here in the sidebar, you'll see it close to the bottom, two little pieces of paper. That's the icon for files. We click on it. Um, here we have two exercises. First, we're gonna find an important file. Go to the folder, like if you were receiving monthly packets from the council, go to the folder of the month, open it. You'll find all the things that were distributed that month. You can click on them. You can just read them there. Boom, you did it, you found the very important file. Um, you can read them right there on the website or like before, you can click on this download button and download the parts that are relevant to you. So going back, what if you wanted to upload a file? It's already gotten a folder, you wanted to add something, we'll click on it. You see these buttons here on the top? The one you wanna choose is Upload File, and it's gonna look a lot like when you were adding an attachment to your message. You can drag the file into this bucket, and that'll do it, or you can select and browse. I'm gonna select and browse, and I'm gonna share the latest news from my team and put it up there in the files area. Down in the corner, it says Open. I'll click on it, and there it is. I have to add it. And now it's been added to this folder area. If I click on it, you see it's now at our groups IO. So other people can click this corner button and download whatever it is they need. So I've gone back by clicking on home to the home page, and those were the things we wanted to cover. We talked about how to put a message in there. We talked about how to do a new topic. We talked about how to do a little bit in the files area. So the very last thing is how to log out. In the corner, you'll see your name. You can click log out and then you're done. But what happens if you wanna log back in later? Like I told you, the thing to remember is www.groups.io or just plain groups.io. You'll come to the page with the happy elephants. You will see in the corner up here how to log in. So you click on login. You'll have to put whatever you used as your email address and whatever you used as your password and you can click on the green login button. And then from the list, if you happen to belong to a lot of groups, you'll see them on the list and you can choose the one you wanna to go to. In my case, the Tiny Bytes Computer Tutoring Group. And there you go. Now you know how to log in, how to log out, and how to do some of the basic functions. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and I'll talk to you soon.